Hello everyone. Welcome back. Today we are going to discuss the parameterization. How we are going to test the functionality with different data variations. Obviously that is very powerful feature in automation because manually it is a very tedious task and laborious process given any functionality. You want to test the login with 100 different usernames and passwords. Manually it is a very tedious task. That's where you are going to use this automation. The parameterization in other words called the data driven testing feature. Where the data is going to drive your scripts. So Parameterization, the concept is test the functionality of an application with multiple input or the test data, in other words, multiple data variations. How you do the parameterization? There are different ways. You can directly read data from external Excel files or you can directly input data in the data table or you can also input data through programming. You are going to put some control statements or you can also use the user interaction where you can ask the user input the data while it executes the script. So whatever it is like uh, ultimately you are going to test your functionality with multiple data variations wherever the input is coming whether it is an excel sheet or a data table or through program or it is a use user interaction. So today we are going to look at how you are going to test the scenario by inputting data in the data table. So data table is nothing but an Excel sheet in QTP environment. So let's quickly record the script and we're going to look at how you can input data and then how the script is going to read the data. So Windows applications, standalone executable file click OK and OK. Now let's record the script. Okay. So our login is successful and I'm going to continue with my recording for create order two. So enter all this data to create order. All right, so the order is done. And now we are going to close this reservation window, close the application. And you're going to um, stop your scripting recording. So this is how the script is recorded. And now you want to do the parameterization part because you have different 
data variations you want to test with so you want to create different orders with different city names fly from city and fly to city and all the stuff right even if you look at the keyword you also like you can see the same script right it doesn't matter whether it's a keyword view or the expert view basically both or both views are same it depends um, how you want to do your scripting if you know a little bit about the scripting part so you can directly work with expert view if you are not so familiar with QTP so you are trying to learn the features then you can easily work with the keyword view so once you're done with your scripting um, the script is ready now you are going to go with the parameterization part now I'm going to display the data table so view data table and uh, now we are going to look at here um, okay so this is the data table where you are going to input the data right so you can do the parameterization part say you can also display the active screen that way you can better analyze your script like what's happening at each line so you can display the active screen so that both the active screens and the data table tabs are visible in the script. Now you're going to do the parameterization part, expand this reservation. Wherever just you place highlight a line in the script, then you see that particular object gets highlighted in the active screen. That way you, you also know what is the advantage with this active screen says uh, that particular object highlighted and then this line is doing something on this particular object okay so now you go to the value column that's where you provide most of your test data and then um, click on this button the small button you see here configure the value and now you're going to do the parameterization part right say click on this parameter and then um, you can name the parameter something this is uh, fly from city and then click OK this way you can create as many parameters as you want just I want to do one more parameter say fly to city click on this button and uh, the parameter name fly to city so whenever you name the parameter make sure there are no spaces in the name and click OK let's do one more thing and uh, name the name of the customer because we have different customers they are flying from different city to the other city so this way you are going to test with multiple variations and then see whether your application works for all these different cities with different customer data right so click on this button and again you're going to name the parameter um, so select the parameter option and name it say customer customer name and click OK. So this way you insert three parameters in your script. Now you're going to you are ready to input the data. So go to this data table. You see there are three different columns created in this data table. Now you can input the data. Okay. The second customer is going from Paris to London. So this way you're going to enter whatever the data you have and then you're, you are ready with your scripting now your script is ready to execute before you start executing your script you have to make sure because now your script has to, uh, has to open your application more than one time right because your script ultimately has to run for all these two rows that means it has to open application two times that's where you are going to use system util um, object to open the application multiple times what's the difference between this record and run settings and system Italy is when you open application from record and run settings from this it opens only one time so if you do it from here then it's going to open application one time if you want to open application multiple times to execute on multiple rows then you are going to open the application from um, system util object so in that case what you're going to do is you're going to um, okay one second so you're going to 
select this option here because I don't want to open any application from this. I don't want to open application from record and run settings. Instead, I want to do it from system material. So how you can do the system material is in the expert view it's very easy. So you all you have to do is uh, on the first line place your cursor on the first line and then you're going to say system util that is the object and then you say the run and to this uh, run method you're going to um, pass the executable file in case of standalone application or if it is a web application you have to mention the application URL. So once you do this then you are good to go so that it opens that many times your application and then it's going to run for all these rows and okay let's run this and then watch like what happens Okay, so you see the first row is highlighted. Now it's it's uh, it's using that data. It opens the application, and then it logs in. Okay, so now it's trying to create an order with the first data for the first customer London to Paris. Okay, so that's the uh, order that gets created and finally it's going to close the application and now it's going to start the second iteration. So now it's starting the second iteration. Okay, so now it's doing Paris to London, that is for the second row of data. Okay, so that order gets created. Then, so that's it. It does uh, for all those rows, and at the end of the execution, just you'll get um, um, the results that get displayed. Um, how many rows are executed, and uh, all all this data successfully executed on the application. So you're going to look at uh, the iteration results now, and this uh, uh, automation test results. So let's display the automation results, and then see.
Okay, so it's trying to display those iteration results. Okay, so you got uh, two iterations that are executed successfully. So test iteration one and test iteration two. All right, so that's how uh, the scripts gets executed for all these um, rows. And uh, this is uh, even if you enter, say you have 100 rows of data, all you have to do is just enter the data and um, that, that your script gets executed for all those rows. Even you can also directly import, suppose if you get the data from Excel, so you can also directly import, say import from file and you're going to select that Excel file. Okay, so the other types of parameters like uh, how you can read uh, directly from Excel, how you can do directly in the programming, what is the user interaction. So those are the things we're going to discuss in my uh, following videos. So keep watch my videos, um, that way just you can also look at the other features. Thank you. Thanks for uh, coming to this session. Thanks for watching my video. And um, I will update uh, my next videos uh, as and when I'm done. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.